she gone? She's gone! No! No! Where'd she go? WTF, mate! Oh. I wanted to get it ran over. Let's have a campsite on the fucking railroad. Oh, this works too. Okay. We are going to go to Armadillo. Armadillo! Let's go. Before I do my epic yeah. mission. You okay, lady? <laughs> yeah, I know about that thing. Missing. <laughs> These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores. And he's been. <laughs> He's been missing for three days. Sure, shit out luck. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. <laughs> oh my god. If he's gone, then what will I do? We ain't Get got much husband. money. And I'm in the family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. Uh. Ah. Jesus. Dog. Oh hell no. Nah. <laughs> Motherfucker. Those fellas had it coming to him. <laughs> what you been eating? Whoa, Roper! Hello! Hey there. Don't mind me. Just taking this guy to jail. You got me now. All right. Such as killing a man becomes mundane. Only reason to have a job is the free folks you get down at the whorehouse. Bite your tongue, fool. So, how do I pay off my debt? Oh, are you the owner of this crappy little dog? Then you won't mind me, uh, punching it! Come on, friend! Come on! He told me to take Bob Normally, I don't fight animals. Come on, tough guy! Get back! Everybody! <laughs> yes, follow me! Stop that, you crazy mutt! Oh, it's go time. It's go time. Bam! So, motherfucker. All right. You don't want to this. Dog punch out. Go! This how you work. You've got some. 
Still want to go? Oh, okay. I can tango. I've got all the time in the world. You don't want to be bought this knife, though. Bitch. Let's go, my steed. Once I figure out a name for you, I will. Goldilocks. Nah, that's a dumb name. I can't use Bob. I can't use Steve. I can't use Charlie. Kevin. I've already used that. How about horsey number three? That's a name that hasn't been taken yet. Well, that's a lame name. I'm the worst at coming up with names. Well, we're just gonna continue to call you horsey. Let's go. Go. We're gonna go to the exact same spot. And go to the exact same block of fucking what? You gotta help me, mister. Oh, 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 mister! Mister! Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me. And then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> you know what? You're I can't shake the feeling. I can't shake the feeling that that guy Why is... Why not you people just leave me alone? This is the good guy. This guy's all right. Oh, well. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. You'll be safe soon enough. As soon as we figure this whole thing out. That guy really shouldn't have done an evil laugh. You could try explaining yourself. You know, you kinda not... I didn't cover up your mouth. I just hogtied you. Man, you didn't get very far. In <laughs> the time that I was dis he was distracted by talking to me. Please! I'll do anything! Crazy son of a bitch! So Don't take me back to that man! Oh my good lord! Please get that man away from me! Uh, uh. Hey fella! <laughs> you broke this oh, no. poor fool's oh, leg, mister! Uh, this maniac tried to eat me! We've got cannibals in these here hills! Please help me! What? Please. Fella's gotta eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh, <laughs> save me from this freak, please! Please! <laughs> nope! Now you're both just gonna sit here and die. So what happens if I cut them free after I've already tied them up? You're really not helping. Okay, you're free to go. <laughs> Just kidding. Come on! It's go time! Fight! Fight me! <laughs> Bam! You don't like that, do ya? You wanna be a cannibal? Eat people, bring them up onto the hills and shit? You ate a kid, you ate a, a fucking woman? You can eat another guy? I don't even know where you put that little kid's fucking shit, man! Thanks for the loot, boy. Alright, now you. Where's the other guy? There you are. 
you, sir, are free to go back to your husband, Hold wife, still, or whatever. Or I might stab you by accident. And then they just run off. Okay. Um, Bonnie. Bonnie or Nigel West? I think I'm gonna go do Bonnie. Finish up her missions, you know? That's going to involve me getting out to my survival campsite thingy. Travel to destination! Should be daytime when I load in. Never mind. It's not daytime when I load in. Then I just go, I'm gonna go to sleep. Wait, 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 what? What's in here? Oh, they have bounties. Hello! Now perhaps I can walk the streets without being annoyed by the law. There you go. Everyone's happy. Except for my pocket wallet. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me look at my stats real here because I really have been going all over the place. I'm a greenhorn in fame. Yay! Wait, what? I have 18 of... Oh, 18 of 94 areas discovered. Okay. I've done no gang hideouts. I have two houses. My favorite job's Night Watch. Fuck Night. <laughs> Screw you. Unique world events encountered. 14. Yep, just gonna go to. Oh, well, no, my doors will just automatically close. That's cool. Whee! Daytime? It is daytime. Time to talk to Mr. Douchebag Nigel. First gun store. Watch yourself there. Sorry, mister. You said you had new weapons. You liar. Liar, liar. Thank you. <sighs> Nigel! Well, how you doing in there? You shall not give false testimony, except for profit. Hmm. Do I help him sell stuff? Hey, you, right over here! This elixir will make your dick grow! And I can tell right you, now. with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter! I bid you <laughs> good day, sir! Uh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr... Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens, of East Cheap London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, like being I'm shot. Sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir. I do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy a hundred ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. 
Give it up, old man. <laughs> okay. So what do you want Listen, me to do for Marston, you, guy? I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. All right, as long as you drive. Okay. <laughs> Head for Ridgewood Farm, John, and hurry. Or no. There are people there in dire need of my tonic. I don't have to worry about you dying because I hit a couple of rocks along the way now, right? Good. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Get back on the road! We'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood! Good week in the week. Gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with the collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can. John, a more convincing Othello there has never been, and so shall you, a fair Iago or Cassio me. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, what? John, the flourish, the bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be formed. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the king. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. Okay. Ugh. Let me See just get on up. And remember, or showmanship. Down. Showmanship. I'm a perfect showsman. Don't you think it'd be even more suspicious when a random guy just comes walking along in behind this guy? And then all of a sudden is the one that gets called on up? Just saying. Hey, look! It's this place! That got totally fucking owned earlier today. Or yesterday. Or the day before that. God, I'm bad with time. Hey, man. Look! There's a show over there with the elixir guy! I'm gonna go watch it! Friends, hard-working souls of uh, Chola Springs, uh, gather round, gather round. Uh, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, Backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of it by... Take a drink right now. You, sir! Come up here! Step right up! That's the spirit! Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention! This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. 
Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Yay, science! Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Yeah, I Go see ahead, it. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Really? That's it? Did I miss? Wait! He is still adjusting to his powerful new eye. I shot it. Try again, friend. The tonic may still be taking hold. The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. Westick's okay. own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eye is so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Okay. Right, friend. Here comes the pro. You ready to get embarrassed again? Have you ever seen Shazam? The Behold the power of elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey, hey. You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? They don't work like that around here. Uh-oh, I think it's gonna be a duel. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. What the battle oh, what the? Commence? Oh, you wanna go? Ho ho ho! Oh, obviously, you don't know how pro I am at punching dogs! Ugh. Fuck out of here, boy! There it is! Skeptics and dissenters! Irrefutable proof! Do not let this opportunity pass you by! Look, he's over there! Go get him! This ends now! Watch out! He's got a gun! Who the hell do you think you are? You I'm gone! Even you're alive! Shot, dear boy! The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. You'll be fine. Get out of my way. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I, I want a bottle. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, buddy. Uh, I'll go one. And now he's going in there. Well, they're all gonna die tonight. That went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking... Hey, at least I got the new Jedi people. ability. And uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Sep. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. Coots Chapel? Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! That looks like a five, not an S. Well, hello 
Hello. Oh, horse breaking jobs. Oh, 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 it's go time. This one looks as wild as a horn in the bale. Good luck to you, son. He's a wild one, and no mistake. Where you going, buddy? Just calm yourself. Don't move. You'll be fine. There, there. That's it. Stay calm. Relax, man. Fuck, do I stop this motherfucker? Easy. Easy. Just stay there. Huzzah! All right, on, let's try this again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, nearly got you. Damn it, horse. Whoa, oh, I've got this, guys, don't worry. Last time I was trying something new. This time I'm not trying something new. Now I'm just going to go left and right, left and right. Huzzah! Told you I could do it. Sup. Damn fine riding. That was fast work, son. I only got five dollars. What a jip. Okay, so now what can I do? Um, I think I'll go to Bonnie. Oops, map. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Bonnie. Right on over here. Um. Okay. Well, let's attempt to set up shop over here. Damn it. Horsey! Horsey! Number three! You gotta get out of civilization, man. Sup, wild horse. Sazam! Come on. Well, that didn't take very long. I think it was already a horse. I'm not too sure though. Oh look, a deer! Bitch! Damn it, I keep getting mixed up with which one's gonna be doing what. Alright. Improved campsite. I think after I go to do Bonnie's mission, I may try to do the treasure chest one. Or the treasure chest. Treasure mission. I don't know though. We'll see if I don't forget. <coughs> McFarlane, McFarlane, McFarlane. Only you can prevent forest fires. Or do Austin Plains fires. Only you can prevent fires from spreading in the desert. Bye. Yeah. No. No no fires in the desert. Please don't be night. Please don't be night. Damn it all, it's night. Come on! Wait, 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 wait. wait. You know what I got? Let me see what Let's time is it wants me to go and see her. Is she, it's most likely in the day. Or... Wait, wait, wait. Alright, sweet, I can do it right now. Fuck yes.